Because this fraction might look confusing and it pretty much is because you can easily mess up. So let's break it down and solve it in the correct way. When we work with fractions and we have something in the numerator and denominator, we usually try to solve the numerator and denominator to get a fraction and then we divide numerator by denominator. And right now it's pretty simple with the denominator because we just get 6. There is nothing to calculate. But at the top we need to solve a whole new equation. So let's rewrite it down here. We get 18 divided by 3 and times 2. Wait, if you like the explanation so far, please consider subscribing. Thank you! So if someone doesn't know how to use PEMDAS correctly, they would probably assume that you should do 3 times 2 first, just because we have M and D in PEMDAS and multiplication goes first. But no, they have the same priority. And how do you usually think about it? Look, we can rewrite every division as a multiplication and every multiplication as a division. Let's rewrite this division as a multiplication. So we'll get 18 times, but now we need to change this 3 into 1 divided by 3 to a fraction, and then times 2. I'll do this first, because it's simpler. Look, 18 goes to the top, so we get 18 divided by 3. 18 divided by 3, it's simple. That is 6. And then we get 6 times 2, that is 12. So okay, so we solved the numerator. So let's write it down over here and we get 12 divided by 6. And that's pretty simple. We can easily divide 12 by 6 and we get 2. Let me know if you solved this correctly and if you did, try to solve that equation in this video. It's much much more difficult. It will definitely challenge you. But for now, have a nice day.